part of the reason is they don't want these buckets put in the airplane until it delivers, so you don't damage them. And then there's all kinds of other features, you know, dropping this down for access to all the electrical, this light, being able to uh, remove really quickly. There's no fasteners, it's just pins. Here's the cool part about this. This design came from a trailer, uh, uh, the Tail, bed, the door off of a uh, tailgate. tailgate on a pickup. Tailgate. And all it is is you detach the little shock absorbers, and this piece here is essentially what's on the, the stove in bucket. Here's the bucket itself. You come in, you rotate it, and now it doesn't come out. It allows it to, or it allows the bucket to turn to a certain degree, and the pin, this holds it. When you want to pull the bucket out, you detent this, and then this comes out, the bucket comes out. And I'll show you on this bucket. Once you figure out how to install these, one person can install it. Uh, for you guys, it's probably easier to get a few people to install it. It's, no. No panels. That's the, the bucket. Has those, they're stoppers. They're index uh, guides to stopping. Oh, yeah. yeah. Any one of those pins will work. Here I have it right here. The trick to these is um, just like everything else. There's finesse. That, these are no-brainers because the tolerances are, are so forgiving that um, once you get this into this, it's just a rotation and a drop-in, and then it closes. Uh, the tricky part is right in here. So this pin goes in like this. So if you look at this piece here, this has to go underneath here. That's this piece. It, this piece has to rotate underneath here. Once this gets up underneath there, this piece goes, and then it rotates up. One person, you can get, be kind of wonky. Here's what I do. Technique is everything. The way you hold it, the way you adjust it, the way you put it in. So what I do is I come and I lay it down right there. Come over here. See this piece here? It's got to go underneath here. Okay? So I double check both sides. So I come in here. I'm looking at this. Is this not the right pin? Yeah, it is. This is the wrong pin. There's different sizes of bins. Lady with baby. Lady with baby. No, it's this one. You can see it's a scrapper. What's scrapper? Yeah. Okay, hold on a second. Wait, wait. I want to show you. This is key. Once you get this underneath, behind there, go ahead and let go. You just lift this up. Take it out. You drop it down till it lines up with that piece and it drops out, which is right there. It comes out. And then it rotates out like this. That's the uh, trick for the key motion is up, in, close. So once you close it, you come down. That's where it disengages and it allows it to slide out. You get it past that and you rotate it out. All right, what's to keep the flight attendants from wiggling it a little bit and all of a sudden the whole thing comes out? You've got these attached for the shock absorbers. So that doesn't let it rotate out. It only goes a certain degree. If it goes further than that, then it'll disengage. Oh, okay. That's the tailgate, the Ford or Chevy tailgate. If you don't engage these shock absorbers once you get it in, right? If you don't engage the shock absorber, when the shock absorber is engaged, this thing will only drop to there. But notice if you take the shock absorber off and it comes down to there, it'll slide out. Right? Yeah. So 
when you go to put this in, two things. One, it's the motion. It comes down to here, it slides out, and then it rotates out. And the reason it rotates up is because this piece has to clear this piece. It goes underneath it to allow this piece to come up right here. Go. And once that's out, it's rotated out. Well, I'll show you this little shock absorber and how that works. This is a real fragile little spring tension mechanism. But once you get this up, close it, drop it back down, extend the shock absorber, and you clip it into this and close the vein. Oh, it's just a you need a tool to get the clip out? Yes, and I'll show you guys that. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we're moving. And then install it. Either way. Either way. Either way. That little shock absorber spins both ways. You can put it in the back of the thing. Okay. Because you can release it from either. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So if you guys want to install, here's what we can do. We can install this strong back up here, and then two people can install that hill. Okay. If you want to do that. Yeah. Because if you put people on the metal doing third, you're going to be dumping everything. So.